Okay, buddy. I will be telling you this every year that I have YouTube on September 11th. But, um, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you stuff, show you pictures that would happen on 9-11. But today's date is September 11th, 2023. But 22 years ago today, the date was September 11th, 2001. Well, America changed forever. I'm going to tell you some stories that my teacher told me and stuff like that. I'm going to read some articles and stuff on the hill. But, um, I'll also show you some pictures. So, as you can see, you can't see that. Okay, there's the planes. That you can't see there. I'm going to tell you the very first plane and what happened. So, as you can see, the first plane left. It said Boston. And then was going to... I don't even know where it was going. But then it took a U-turn. And came to New York and cla crashed in the World Trade Center. And then the second plane that also went to Boston was going and crashing into the second World Trade Center. And then the third plane was left Washington, D.C., took a little thing, and then came back and hit the Pentagon. And then the United Airlines Flight 93 left, was going to the Capitol building, but the people fought back. And it they saved what okay at 5:45 a.m. Uh, the two terrorist attacks people passed through the airport at Portland, Japan. I mean, the I don't know, but then no the board American Airlines flight 11. Then at 7:59, flight 11 took. Took off from Boston, headed for Los Angeles, California. There was still were seventy six people on board and eleven crew members and five hatch five hijackers on board that day. And then, but at eight fifteen, United Airlines Flight One Seventy Five took off from Boston, also headed for Los Angeles. There were fifty one pad passengers on board. Nine crew members and five hijackers on that board. But at 8.19, a flight attendant on flight 11, somebody alerts ground person that a hijacker is under board, that the cockpit is under uh, unreachable. It means the people in the cockpit of flight 11, they cannot, the people is already dead. People is already dead in that board. And then at each warning to one minute later, America Flight 77 took off because it was still didn't know when 77 took off the flight. They did not know that Flight 11 had a hijacker, so they still let it go. Then but it took off from Dallas, outside of Washington, D.C., headed for Los Angeles. There are 53 passengers. Six crew members and five hat, five hat, five hijackers on board. Eight twenty four, the hijacker on flight eleven, uh, took air control in Boston to the attack. He meant to press the button that allowed him to touch the passengers on his flight. It had a picture, but it would not show me. But at eight thirty seven. After hearing the broadcast from Flight 11 Boston Air Traffic Control Alerts in the U.S. Air Force, the who then mobile father the plane. 842, Unite. Don't know why they didn't just stop this flight from taking off, but whatever. Unite Flight 93 took off from New Jersey after. Hold on. New Jersey. Delay due to the traffic. It was heading for San Francisco, California. There are 33 passengers on board, six crew members, and four hijackers on this board. 
This is sad, okay? This is, this one is sad. 8.46, okay? So, uh, at, at 8.15, no, wait a minute. At 7.59, flight 11, they got control of the cockpit, but at 8.46, flight 11 crashing the World Trade Center north, I don't know why I keep doing that, no tower, all passengers aboard are instantly killed, and employees of the World Trade Center are trapped above the 91st floor, is sadly dead. And probably for like 90 and 89 also died because of heat waves and stuff. Let me tell you some fun facts that my teacher told me after reading or reading this to you. At 9.03, so a couple minutes later, flight 175 crashed in the World Trade Center South Tower. All passengers aboard are killed instantly and also unknown numbers of people in the tower. So they did not know how many people died and all the people that new people on the World Trade Center. This is a lot, a lot to read. So I'm just going to read all the stuff I can. President George W. Bush, that was president at the time, in an elementary school classroom in Florida. It's, um, was told about the head on the same time you can see by his face. His ship was so okay. He was just told... I made the decision not to jump up immediately and leave the classroom and I want to ride with the kids. I want to to project. So he did not want to start the kids. Is that what he was saying? And this is what a picture. As you can see. That is President Bush right there. That's President Bush. I was a teacher at the time. I was all the students. Okay. Then, at 9.28, hijackers attacked on Flight 93. At 9.37, Flight 77 crashed in the Pentagon. All passengers aboard are instantly killed. And so, as the 105 people and military personal people in the building, that, uh... My teacher told me today that his uh, grandpa was supposed to be where the plane hit on the Pentagon, but he his thing changed his uh, the route, so he did not die, and that was a good thing. At 9.45, all air is shut down, so all airplanes in the world he shut down at 9.45, they did not want anyone else to get on a plane. But it was too late because the fourth plane was already tucking off. It was another picture. Uh, that was another picture. I will tell you this every year. I will tell you this every year. Just be, I will make a TikTok about 22 years today. I will make a little TikTok about it too. But it's not something to joke about. My friend joked about it today. Said, oh, I was the one that was in the wood, that was in the plane. I told him, I joked around a lot. But don't talk around about that. But at 9.55 a.m., Air Force One with President George Bush. A boy takes off from Florida at 9.57. Patterns aboard Flight 93 began to run towards the uh, cockpit. The pilot began to blow the plane back and forth in an attempt to... It was like, hey, hey, hey. If, if I hit the plane, as soon as that happened, he flipped the plane upside down and was heading. Like that. But at 9.59 a.m., the South Tower of the World Trade Center collapsed. At 9.59, here's a picture of the gym. I'll show you a video too, but that will be, that will be uh, part two. I don't want to show you. 
and as you can see in our first photo as you can see in our first photo there was two train towers I mean one fell but the south tower got got a hit second got hit first no the south tower got hit second Oh yeah, 1002 flight 93 plows in an empty field in Shans Valley, Pennsylvania. Although it's a limited target, is unknown. It's unlikely heading for either the White House or the U.S. Capitol. But nobody knows to the set. You can never know. Well, that was the field. And now, well, that plane hit is now... You used to could go in that field if you wanted to, but now you cannot. And where the plane went down and where that plane was, so now a lot right there, so you could know that where the plane was. And it was, it was all buried right there. There was all buried right there. But at 10, 18, President Bush told everybody to be shot down at the time. A full hijacker plane had already crashed, but the president team was... They thought Flight 93 was still in the air. So, but at 10.28, the North Tower of the World Trade Center collapsed. So, all the other stuff was about the stuff and about the president. But this kept going all day, all day. It was an all day thing. Oh, I did not know this. At 5.30, Building 7 of the World Trade Center collapsed. Building, s building 7 of the World Trade Center collapsed. I just told you, and the people went back to the hotel room. Aftermath, it was crazy. But, but that was crazy on that day. Uh, you know, I guess to uh, shop how many people lost their lives on 9-11. So, nearly um, 3,000 people died on 9-11. People were killed when hijacked planes crashed in the New York World Trade Center, Pentagon, and Pennsylvania field in a attack that nobody's going to forget. How many firefighters lost their life? Nearly 343 New York firefighters lost their life by the top stars at ground zero. But I have two things to tell you. I'm gonna tell you two things. I'm gonna tell you three people that could have had lost their lives on that day. Okay. Ted. I'll meet this every year, but Ted. Past. I'm gonna tell you who almost died in Ted in the World Trade Center, so you would never, hold on, hey, you would never have got Ted if, but Mark La, Mark Wabugs that played as Ted, oh well, didn't play as Ted, but was in Ted, could have had lost his life, we're not loving his. How did Mark Wahlberg's did not die on 9-11? I'm going to tell you how. But I think this one, he was either... I know one was drunk and one wasn't, but, but Michael Jackson was supposed to be at the top of the World Trade Center when it hit on the day. He was supposed to be there at 8 o'clock till 7. Yeah, till 7. I said stop till 7. He was, was supposed to be there till 7. 
Well, she was trying to turn to his sister. She stayed up all night talking to his sister and mother. Uh, he could not do it. And then Seth Green. No, not Seth Green. Uh, wish. If I can't find this guy, then I'll just. Okay, Seth McFarlane. Oh yes, Peter Griffin. Played as Peter Griffin, a family guy. He was... He played in Ted too. No, he played American Dad too. You don't know that. But well, he was supposed to be at the World Trade Center. He was supposed to not playing like... I think 11 or 93 that hit the first tower. But he, I don't think, wanted to go no more or was drunk. Or if he was drunk, he missed his fight by 11 minutes. But, says my father, oh yeah, says my father did not, was not drunk. He just woke up and was like, you know what, no, I don't want to go no more. And so he didn't. The title will be 22 years today. But, if you have any stories about 9 11, if it, your family was involved in 9 11, we had to do an interview about 9 11. So, that was fun. Well, it wasn't fun, you know what I mean. But, hopefully, I'll see you guys in another vlog. I know I've been gone for like eight days. But, yeah, it's going to use today. Bye.